Okay, so welcome back. Now for this art video, we're going to step back a little bit from practicing some crayon techniques and focus a little bit more on some actual sketching techniques. So things that we need to learn when we are trying to draw exactly what we see. And the techniques I'm going to show you today are coming from a book titled Drawing with Children. And from this book, I learned some specific language that helped me when teaching others to draw because it gave us a common language so that when I was telling kids, oh, you need to draw this shape or that shape, they have a, well, sorry, they had a really good understanding of what I meant. So I'm hoping that after this lesson today, when we start sketching some animals or whatever type of drawing you all tell me that you want me to show you how to do, then it'll become easier when you hear me say something, you'll know exactly what I mean. So the techniques that we're going to be practicing today come from the idea that there are five basic elements of shape. What I mean is that there's basically five shapes within certain families that can help us make whatever drawing we want. And the first family that we're gonna look at is the dot family. And the dot family basically comes from this shape, a circle that's completely filled in. So we have a dot, again, that's completely filled in. We have an oval, which is an elongated circle that's again filled in. We also have an ellipse, which is an elongated circle or an oval on its side. And then we also have another shape that is called a kidney. But from my perspective, when I ever see this shape, I kind of think of it more as a heart. Do you see that? So that is the first group of family for the five elements of shape where we have one, two, three, four, but we have a couple more families. So that's the first family. We also have the exact same family, pretty much. It really, they really are the same thing. At least that's what I learned from this book, except that these shapes are not filled in. So we have the dot family and we have the circle family. So again, the exact same shapes, except that they're not filled in. Okay. And then the other three families are a little bit different because they're more focused on line work. So we have the straight family, which is basically a line. So you can have a straight line a thicker straight line, a vertical thick straight line. So you would call this one a horizontal thick straight line, a vertical thick straight line, an angled thick straight line, And then another shape would be thin straight lines close together. And then the other one within this family, I'm barely going to have enough room to fit it in, is the dotted line almost. So that is the straight family or the straight line family. The other family that we're going to learn about today that are going, well, that is going to help us draw in our sketching, it's going to be the curved line family. So the curved line. And a curved line could be a curved line that's almost close, so almost part of the circle family, 
we can have a curved line where most of the curve is pointing up. Do you see how this is pointing up? We have another one which is exactly the same except it's curving down. Kind of like a frown and a smile. We also have this one which is one of my favorites from this family which is the spiral. So you start at one point and you do it by going tightly around from where you started. So that's the spiral. And then the last family that we're going to learn about, remember I did say that these are going to be the five elements of shape, is the angled family. So an angle is a straight line and then all of a sudden the next part of it is going in a sharp direction in a different way. So for example this line I could have made it go this way. I could have also made it go this way. You see how it's a sharp change in direction? So basically that. There are lots of ways that you can have an angle. You can have a straight angle like that, or you can have it where it's more dipped. You can also have just like this, an angle just like this. So basically instead of it being a thick straight line or a thick angled line. It's just thin. You can also make different shapes with it. And one of my favorites and the reason why this one shape is important is because you can use it to make familiar shapes like mountains. So those are the five elements of shape. I highly encourage you to keep on practice, sorry, practicing these and I'm going to upload a PDF of um, basically some drawing exercises that I got from this book. So if you want to practice it, go ahead. And I can't wait for us to use these techniques in a drawing lesson. Okay, bye-bye.